hard wiring some data points into different rooms in the house using an ethernet switch and data cable. I'll show you how I do it. Um, thanks for tuning in and in this episode I am running some data points um, in a customer's house uh, to three bedrooms upstairs um, so the scenario is uh, the family has got two sons and the husband they're all into their uh, online gaming which obviously puts a lot of demand on Wi-Fi well, all three consoles are using the Wi-Fi and as soon as all three of them start playing uh, one of the one of them it's normally the same person but one of the uh, gamers or one of the sons um, starts to struggle it starts to buffer that sort of thing and as soon as a third person comes off it then it's fine now I did make it clear to the customer that I'm not 100% positive that this will sort the uh, problem out because it could be just the fact that they're putting too much demand on their current internet speed um, you know if whether they're using Wi-Fi or not you know if they haven't got a great speed coming through um, you know to their house from their ISP their service provider then going hardwired won't necessarily cure it you know it's just too much demand on on their uh, on their supply but it's, it will certainly make a, a big difference so what they're doing is um, they're gonna have a, a cable run from their router which is downstairs I'm gonna run a cable from that up the outside wall up into the loft and in the loft, I'll be fitting one of these uh, gigabit. It's a it's an eight port gigabit switch. Okay, so most a lot of you will know what that means. But if you don't, all that is it's like a splitter. Um, so it takes the signal up from the cable, takes your, your broadband signal from the back of your router up that cable, and that cable goes into any one of the ports on this uh, on this uh, switch. It's called a switch, but it's like a splitter, but it's called a switch, okay? Uh, this is just a desktop switch, very basic thing from TP-Link. There are loads of other brands that make it, okay? I'm not sponsored by them, I'm not advocating them. This is just what I have. Um, but yeah, so it's very basic, and all it does, the signal comes from that router up that cable into one of these ports here, any one of them, and then you connect a cable from the other remaining ports and we run that cable to the back of their computer or the back of their console or the back of their printer or wherever you know their desktop computer so and that's basically what's called hard wiring you can run a cable from to the back of your tv so rather than using wi-fi all of the time um and, you know run the risk of losing the signal or uh, getting a poor signal through thick walls if you live in a, a house or a cottage with big thick stone walls or that sort of thing often hard wiring is better where you do some sort of scenario like this and in essence then your piece of equipment your computer your games console your tv whatever is hardwired through the cable back through this back to your router so you're not using wi-fi you're actually physically connecting it with a cable hardwiring okay um so yeah so running running a cable up to the loft i'm going to fit this in the loft i'm not sure if there's a power socket in the loft to plug it in because all it is it just plugs into the mains and away you go plug your cables into it if there isn't a socket in the loft i'll be putting a socket up there myself um because i can do that um and then basically dropping three cables three white uh, cat five cables you can use cat six if you really want to but the distance this cable's traveling it really isn't necessary and cat five is a bit easier to work with um I'm going to be basically dropping three cables from this uh, switch down to one bedroom, down to a second bedroom, and down to a third bedroom. She just wants it just pinned in the corner and then just plugged straight into the computers, into the, the games consoles. I said about burying it inside the wall or running it in trunking, and she really isn't interested in any of that. They're not too bothered about the aesthetics of it. They just want functionality uh, and hopefully stop arguments and squabbles from kids losing their signal. Okay? So, yeah. So, that's it, really. Um, I've only got a few hours to do this because I can't get there till half ten and then she's going out um, I can't remember what time just after lunch so I'll try and get as much video on this as I can for you um, but you should pick up the idea of what I'm doing and um, I won't be able to get a video of the whole thing because I just don't have time because I'll have to get this done quick as I can before she has to go out because I'm too busy um, but yeah 
I've told you what I'm doing, I'm running cables down. I'll show you the cable, I'll show you the connections I use. The connections, they're a bit hard for the average DIYer to do, but they are doable. Uh, but they're a bit they're pretty fiddly. Um, but I'll show you me I'll show you me doing one of those connections and basically what it looks like connected in the loft, okay? So yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, hopefully this can give you any tips uh, and, and has explained what hard wiring means. You can get far more up to date and um, not up to date, uh, far more intelligent and advanced piece of equipment than this that actually power other appliances. But that's another kettle of fish. But happy to answer questions on that if you have them. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the channel. Um, it's slowly growing. Um, but yeah, so right, let's get into it. Okay, so like I said, I've run a cable. Uh, I've drilled a hole downstairs where the uh, the router is, and there's a black Cat Six cable coming out of there. That's just going straight up the wall, up into the gable end of the loft. And it's a it's a black it's a Cat Six cable. Um, no particular reason I've used that. It's just it's uh, slightly better quality than Cat Five, and it and yeah, and to be honest, it was the only black cable I had at home so yeah black looks a bit better than white on the outside so yeah so that cable comes from the router in the in the sitting room and it's going up to the loft so i'm now going to go up to the bedrooms and run run some cables from yeah in, from the loft down into each bedroom so i'm just going to pin them along the ceiling and yeah basically down to where the computers are as per what the, the customer wants but that's as simple as that really um okay so i'll get a shot of that or i'll get a video of that i might have to voice over it when i get home because uh, the customer is in the house and then i'll get the switch fitted in the loft all right okay right so i've run three of these uh data cables up uh through the corner of the ceiling in three bedrooms up to the loft space and connected to the switch uh, which i'll show you in a sec i just wanted to show you how I uh, prepare a Cat5 cable or how it's got to be done. There are a couple of different wiring configurations but I always use this one so I need one of these tools, one of these cable stripping tools and I don't know if you saw me just do that then, you just got to clamp it down and score, score around the cable to remove the rubber sheathing and then you've got four pairs so we've got eight tiny little thin cables in there and they need to be separated. And you just twist them and separate them like that. Hopefully you can see that all right, yeah. Okay, so now you've got to line up these cables in a certain order. And that order is white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. See? White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Okay? I don't know if you can see that, it's pretty hard to see, but now you've got eight very thin cables and those cables have to be slotted into one of these RJ45 connectors that you're probably familiar with on your little internet, your ethernet cables and so what I do is I pinch them together, pull them up and check again I end up saying, and saying the, the colour configurations to myself about a hundred times whilst I'm counting them out White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. So that is, now they're all parallel next to each other where they want to be. Trim them down so I've got a flat edge. And then insert, insert the cables into one of these connectors. You've just got to make sure when you're doing it, you do both ends of the cable. So there's a, there's a connect to this end and there's obviously a connect to the other end, which is going into the switch. This end's going into the computer. You've just got to make sure they go in the same way and the same way up on both ends. So I always do it with the clip, the clip of the connector facing down. Push them in and they come out the other end on these ones. So white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, 
white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. The end of the cables come out of the end of the connector just to show that you've got them aligned correctly. Some of the cheaper connectors, the older connectors, don't do that, but this make these ones make it a lot easier. Final check, white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, blue. Yep, yeah, so that's ready. I trim off most of the excess. Feed them into one of these crimping tools. That's designed for crimping down these. And there you have it. That's done. Yes, I made that look easy, and you are you can have like a rubber boot which goes over the cable and then you slot it over the top. Um, it's like a rubber sort of grommet that goes over that. I haven't got any of those and it really doesn't matter on this internal application. She she's really she's not interested in that, so that's fine. And this then now goes into the back of her son's desktop computer, okay? So I'll show you now what I've what uh, what's going on in the loft with the switch and um, so the other ends of these cables and what they're plugged into, into the switch in the loft, all right? Okay, and this is what we've got in the loft. So here we are, it's just three white cables. We just saw me preparing one of them. That's one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedrooms. And that black cable is a, uh, is the black cable that you saw at the start, which is run up from the, uh, comes through the wall up there, which is run up from the, uh, the router downstairs. So that's what sends the uh, broadband signal up into the switch and it comes back out these three white cables. And that's just a standard gigabit switch and it's plugged into a power socket we got here. Turn that on. Should see a light come on it, hopefully. Oh yeah, it's a very, very faint green light. And that is now sending the signal from the router to the different appliances. So there's three computers, but this could be a smart TV, it could be a printer, could be all sorts, it could be CCTV system, whatever. And yeah, so that's it. So a short video, um, just a little sort of basic ex explanation of a very, very basic data networking, sort of hard wiring your internet around your house. And um, there's far more uh, advanced applications for this you know using poe switches and wi-fi uh boosters etc but this is just a very very bottom level uh data networking setup to hardwire your internet around the house so that's it really so i hope you enjoyed it uh any questions by all means send me a message and thanks for watching the channel don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends so thanks a lot cheers